Hey, what's going on? Screen thumb. So uh, today we are going to be putting cucumbers in there. That's right. It's uh, 26th of August and we're planting cucumbers. So here we go. I just had in that plot, just a minute, let me turn this thing around. So this was where we had all of our cucumbers on the ground. We had market more and burpless, uh, burpless something or others. I wasn't an overly big fan, but Mrs. Green Thumb likes them. So we're gonna grow them again. Uh, so we had them in here. In this area, we had two golden, two golden zucchinis and a dark green zucchini. And here we had our cucumbers and we had them sprawling on the ground, climbing up the fence and generally all where I'm standing, it was a great big mess. But we got lots of cukes off it. But they ended up getting mosaic virus. So what we're doing now, got the pole pounder, got eight foot T-posts. We're gonna hammer a T-post in the ground right there at the end of the bed. Got another one right there, okay. And uh, I've set them up so that the holes on the T-post are facing right down the line of the garden bed. So what we're gonna do is we are going to plant cucumbers all down this bed to there. And then I was going to use um, trellis netting, but I figured it's gonna be a lot easier. I don't know how many uh, weeks or months I've got left on these cukes before a frost wipes them out. So uh, I'm just going to, uh, when the cucumbers get big enough, yeah, hi. Where'd he go? That's my cat. Say hi, Ozzy. Yeah. He follows me into the garden all the time, tries to climb up my leg while we're hanging out. Jumped on my back a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's my gardening buddy. Right, pal? Yeah. Best mouser in the world. Since I got up here, there hasn't been one rat or one chicken. Or, sorry, one rat or one mouse. Not in the chicken coop, nothing. We have feed everywhere. But getting back to this. So what we're going to do is... Okay, Oz, go somewhere else, please. Come on, pal, I'm filming. We're going to plant cucumbers all the way down the line. And then at the first hole on the T-post right here, we're going to run baling wire all the way across to the other side. When the cukes climb up, when they need more, We'll just run some with the next one. Go up a couple of holes, up to the next one. Because this way, I mean, I have two bales of, of uh, baling twine inside it, what, 20,000 feet a bale or something. And it costs me half a cent a foot or some ridiculous thing. So here we go. So we're just gonna plant some cucumbers. All right, so here we go. Got all the holes dug all the way down the line. We are going to be planting two market more cucumbers. We're gonna be planting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven national pickling cukes. Okay. They're just little fellas, right? And these only went in, uh, these went into uh, seed trays about a week and a half ago at most. And then these ones down here are going to be Boston pickling cukes. So, uh, yeah, that's it. We're going to slam some of those in the ground real fast. Uh, Mrs. Green Thumb is behind me with the watering can. And uh, we're going to get all these in the ground and watered and get them growing.
Look at that, planting in real time. So you guys are worried. So my first frost date up here is probably middle of October. And I'm still putting cucumbers in the ground. And I'm, I'm in a colder place than a lot of you guys are gonna be. So if you guys are in someplace warmer and your first average frost date is somewhere, you know, November or something, get your seeds in the ground, get going. It's nothing stopping you. That's all it takes, guys. You know, a couple of minutes, dig a hole, stick them in, water them, let them grow. Uh, what's that? Oh, yeah, see? Ozzy. Hey. Hey. Oh, yeah, now he's going to ignore me. We got beets coming along for our fall crop too. Doing beets. We've got uh, kale, three different kinds of kale. We've got dino kale, uh, red Russian kale, and and I can't remember the name of the other one. Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge kale, right. And then uh, we're prepping This garden right here doesn't look like much at the moment, but that's where we just had uh, all of our lettuce planted and we just ripped out a bunch because it didn't bolt for ages. And then I might as well, I figured I'll just keep it in the ground and keep the soil biology going with it in the ground as opposed to just having the ground all dead and lifeless. So that's that. And then we've got a little tiny pepper patch right here got a there's nice peppers in here so yep things are coming along all of our garden went in really late so uh we're trying to play catch up what do we have in here see there's lots of peppers on the plants i'm just hoping that fall and frost holds off a long time and then we're just going to be able to uh Pull everything we can out of here. Oh yeah. And Mrs. Green Thumb's celery plants. Yeah. I know, yay. Okay guys, so I'm gonna give these cucumbers a little water. I'm gonna prune up some of them. You guys probably noticed some of this crap. Those are just the cotyledons anyways. They're their first leaves that are coming out. I'm not worried whatsoever. They're gonna get trimmed off as soon as these ones start shooting out vines, which is only gonna happen within a few days. So. Thanks for checking out the video. Like, subscribe, you know, share the content, you know, do all the things. Make the love. See ya. Bye.